entry level position. And we all know there's so many different institutions here in Qatar provide this kind of stuff. So why this program is better than someone else? Number one is, as I mentioned, we have the industry input, international certification. It's not just Qatar based. And they, the participants get a certificate from uh, Charter Bankers Institute and uh, from QFP and CCP. That is, I think, a will add definitely a value to it. And we are willing to support you finding the candidates, which I know is uh, quite challenging here. When you have people uh, uh, in financial institutions looking to hire the people after high school, the attrition rate is quite high when you hire somebody after high school. Because within a year, they will move to three different places, and then at the end, they're going to probably end up with the, one of the oil companies. The advantage with this program is that they will have an associated business, and from the beginning there, we are going to position them that they are going to be doing a retail banking program. So instead of just experimenting, at your expense, at your institution, using up your uh, time for the employees, we will have them go through this program before they come into your program. So we think it's going to be really good for the industry, and I thank you for your input again, and I think it's uh, we're planning to have this twice a year because the graduating class is uh, in January of CCQ and then also in May. Now this program is not limited to only CCQ. If you have a group of employees that potential hires, we can run this program uh, without having a CCQ. As long as we go through this process of screening them ahead of time. And make, because at the end, we want to make sure the end product meets your requirement. Uh, if you have any questions? Or... I think one thing we we'll try to create the network between you. If <coughs> uh, we can talk between you, we can really do a lot of things at cost of which I'm sure you want. And I found, for example, this program. You have five, you have seven, you have six. We can put them together. And then you don't have to pay the full bell for the programs. the program, you will share. And I found this is becoming very cost effective and for, for, for you. So this is why we need to build up the network between all the HR and training managers in the financial sectors. And then we can build up on, uh, on how to do things uh, more effectively and cost effectively. So, just, um, so when we met, we were talking about this program. Hi everyone, I'm Beth Renda from the Commercial Bank. One of the things we talked about was whether we should kind of act as a consortium on behalf of the banking industry when we work with QFBA and this program in particular. So where I've done this before, actually in a different industry, is that we would have maybe one day when we'd be at the Community College of Qatar, and we would have a representative from each of the banks in Qatar and we would interview all the students, maybe in twos and threes, and at the end of the day, we give the, we each have the opportunity to talk, talk about our different banks, um, and at the end of the day, the students can then say, these are the organizations I'm interested in, and as banks, we can say, these are the students we're interested in, and we can kind of match up, and from that program, so we make sure that all of those students are sponsored, and that we can get all of those students into a role in the bank. So, you know, it's almost like a sort of, dating concept, <laughs> people meeting each other, see where there's a kind of chemistry between the different students and the different types exactly. of organizations. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely, I think we're, uh, once we go through the screen process, we will be contacting you and the stewards and the, so all the banks. We'll have the opportunity, we'll, we can arrange it here for them to come here. And you will have this initial assessment data completed also. So this way you will have a background of you know, who you want to target at that time. So I said, build on speed dating, age, married before, not married, single before, so you'll have all these information uh, ahead of time. So I think this is a, we can definitely work in that plan. Any more question for the project development team before the marketing team comes up? Mm -hmm. answer the more, I think. We are definitely open for your suggestions. Because yeah, this program, also you will have some technical sessions. So we can build on it. Pardon me? This is the, the retail banking certificate that addresses the technical retail banking. Now, once they finish this, 
then if you have, let's say, some more people that they want to build on the more research, then we can take them to the business banking or wealth management side. The charter institute have two streams so that we can take them. Yes. And they can, uh, the, if they complete the whole diploma, it counts uh, towards their degree, uh, bachelor's degree uh, from charter So there's a path. Uh, any other questions? We are definitely open for your suggestions. Please pick up your phone and you can call us anytime. And thank you so much for it. Hi everybody, my name is Jean, and I have to say some more coming again, and thank you for coming here, it's a pleasure to see you all. Uh, I'm going to be very quick, I'm not going to take a lot of your time, I know you've been sitting here for a while. Uh, I'm just going to talk very briefly about our registration process, how we do it, and about some of the collaborators you might find in the, in the bags. So basically, uh, you have here a chart of our registration process, I'm not going to go through this uh, step by step, it's very boring. Uh, I'm going to summarize this. So you have three ways of registering with us. So we're working on a system currently. We have a CRM system called Salesforce. I'm sure you're all aware of it. And we are trying to give you as many options to register directly without going into the process of the paperwork. The paperwork. So basically, the three uh, uh, the registration that we have are um, online through our website. Uh, can you just uh, put the work that show you the website? We have a very interactive website that we built a couple of months ago. We're really proud about it. Actually, you can find uh, everything you need about QFA on the website. You have uh, our open calendar, you have our uh, uh, course information, you have the dates, you have our lines of businesses, and you have the registration. So I'll give you an example. If you just go, uh, just see, go down, please. Just uh, a little bit. OK, so let's say you come, you want to register for any courses. Just skip this one. You take the course, you press on it. And it will direct you to the page where there is all the details for the for the course. So you have the start date, duration, cost, and the description of the course. Please go down. You just see. Uh, once let's say you you you're okay with this course, go back, please. You see. Okay. You just add to cart. It's something very simple. We try to do this process into three or four maximum steps. If you register, paid, and everything. So you add to the cart. Because I had it to the card, just close it, please. I say for the first six reason, we want to check out, go down. That this is the only course that we, we chose. We press check out. So basically, you press one, you choose the course, you put it in the basket, in the shopping cart, and you check out. You have all the information about the course, the dates, the parameter participants, the fees, and when you press next, it will take you to a page where it will ask you if you are a uh, new, a new customer, or you already have your credential. So, if you have a new, uh, you are a new customer, you your password and, uh, and access will be sent to you by email. You will have then an account. Please press next. And then you have an account with us. This account will permit you to manage your organization, not only your personal registration, where you can register, enroll people. This is the account. You can use it as well. And it takes you forward. Once you confirm this, the system will automatically generate an invoice. So as you see, the system is well automated. You don't need to waste your time doing the paperwork. The invoice will go directly to your uh, account, uh, organization, or personal. And you can do the payment even online. You have a payment portal. The second way of registration is uh, physically coming here to QRPA. We are on the 15th floor. You can come and register show our uh, reception where they give you all the information. And you can do the payment also. We have a payment online here. And the third way is by email. You can register by email and also pay online. So we're trying to cover as many registration processes as possible. Uh, we'll go to the presentation, please, the one here, and go to slides. Let's go to this one. This is, uh, this is the format of the registration form that you will receive to fill any course, whether online, whether by email, or whether on the website. If there's all the information that you need, you just put it and submit it. We also developed, we we also developed another one for groups. I know in banks you have, in classes you have many people, and it's really frustrating to go and register each one of them. Uh, but the registration form is important because it contains our terms and conditions. So this is why we take this form, we can register multiple people. And it's also present on, on the website, and we can send you a copy of it. So instead of doing each one, just to these people and send it back to us. 
So this is the grosso modo uh, about the registration process. We try to keep it as simple as possible, without going into complication and taking off as much work as we can off your back. I know this is a big process for you guys and you suffer a lot with that. Uh, this is for our uh, process. Just uh, uh, a quick look, a look into your bags. If you look into the bags, there are some marketing correctors that we want you to have a look at. Inside each bag, there is a program booklet for 2014. So this is our programs for the next year. This is our open calendar for next year. We would love to be able to sit down with you later and discuss how we can manage and work on this uh, open calendar. I think we will do it one by one. So some other uh, also uh, events will take place. You will also find a calendar, 2014 calendar for uh, JFA, on which you have each course per month, all the courses per month, and they have that respective color coding. You have our company profile, and you have a soft copy of all the above on the CD. And I would not miss anything. Uh, you also, we will also find a couple of certification leaflets. We will have mainly CFA, CPA, and CMA. Just a reminder that we are launching our uh, January session, January 14, uh, the first sessions for the certifications. Uh, so uh, please have a look at it. If you have somebody who would be interested in registering for CFA, SPA, or CMA, please do that, let us know. We will do a small follow-up later on, on, on all of you. And now I invite Mr. Abdullah to come and take you on a tour on the facility. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but it will give us a great pleasure to take you on the tour. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. Before there's a provider from AWS. Uh, morning, 8 o'clock until 8 o'clock evening. So we have all these facilities available and we try to just make sure that all the requirements for uh, our guests are uh, available on site. Until now we make, we make sure that all programs are run in uh, QPA. We didn't use any other venues uh, outside and we try to keep it as it is because we want you to be all in uh, one place. Anybody has any question, please? If you like to go for a tour to see our classrooms, our services for food, we can take it differently for this. It's free now for everyone to chat around. If you have any queries, any question, all of my team are available. Thank you very much.